Hello again and welcome to another video. Here's a Holstein cow with an extremely long back right foot. So let's get around the crush and see what we can do about it. So as you can see, that back right hand claw is probably four to five inches longer than it should be. And in cases like this, a lot of people think that this cow is slightly lame on that foot because the horn of that foot is long. So that's why she's uncomfortable and walking funny on it. But usually it's the other way around. That toe is probably much longer than it normally would be because she's been lame on that toe. And she's either trying to alleviate pain from the toe or increase the blood flow to that digit has actually made the horn grow faster and faster. Or most likely it's a mixture of the two. So once you've got her in the crush, will we be able to get this toe back to normal? Will she be lame for quite a long time? And can we actually make her much more comfortable than she already is with one trim? Well, let's go ahead and find out. So here she is in the crush, and as you can see there, it is pretty long indeed. So let's get it fixed. Mm. Okay, so as you can clearly see, there's a severe twist in this toe, but what's causing it? Well, the interior bone anatomy of this cow is actually different to a normal cow's. The bone must be rotating in there, and as such, the horn is rotating with it, because the horn grows around the contours of that bone. Here's a tip then, you need access to this properly without hitting this um, claw when you really don't want to. So get something and put it between the claws to force them apart. So. You can use something like this, just a rope with a knot in it, and you'll see what happens. So now you've got full access to that long claw, to the inside of it, to the outside of it, and to the bottom of it. Okay, so we've got the foot up in the air, we've got the toes apart, and now we're going to go ahead and make this cow much more comfortable than she was before. When we trim a cow like this, it's very tempting just to sort of batter on in and take as much horn off as possible. But in reality, you need to be extremely careful. I know in the background right now, it looks like I'm just really, really shoving that grinder in as hard as I can. But the internal anatomy of this cow's foot isn't the same as the normal ones anymore. So as I get closer to where I think the right sort of proportions of the, of the foot are, you'll see I'll start to slow down and take much more time and be very, very careful with where I put the grinder and how hard I'm actually pushing in against the horn. Right now, I'm actually going around the front dorsal wall of the foot quite a bit, but I'm being extremely careful not to catch the quick. That's me testing to see if there's still a lot of thickness there and making sure that the horn still sounds so it's not flexing in any way. So it lets me know that I can still take away some of that excess growth off the front to try and make her more comfortable and to try and get this claw back to how it should be. When you're trimming any normal claw, you would never ever even dream of trimming that dorsal wall in the way that I am in this video. All of the weight bearing properties of the foot actually go through that wall horn. So by trimming away the dorsal hall, sorry, by trimming away the dorsal wall horn, you're actually reducing the capabilities of the foot to bear substantial weight through that wall horn. So never ever be tempted to just shape the wall horn for the sake of aesthetics.
So you can see this trim is taking far longer than a trim on a normal cow which doesn't have a problem like this. That's because in cases like this, finesse and care are absolutely prior, absolute priorities to you. If you take too much off this cow, she's going to be properly, properly lame for the rest of her life probably. Um, as I said, the interior anatomy of this horn has changed. And as such, we need to treat it with extreme care and delicacy. I'm actually trimming the sole of this foot at an angle to try and rotate the bone backwards so that it's perpendicular again to the bottom of the floor. Sorry, so it's square to the floor when the cow is walking. And hopefully it'll give her more comfort. Here we go, so I'm pretty sure it looks a lot different to what it did two minutes ago. As you can see, I'm holding the dorsal walls up, so that's this wall here. I'm holding them up together to see the true length, because when you hold, do it like that, and leave them to the, the way the foot is um, being pushed by the muscles inside, just now this one looks longer than this one. But if you push them together, you'll see, in fact, they're not. Okay, so here she is after the trim, and as I'm pretty sure you'll agree, that foot is looking in much better shape than it was before. Um, although I removed that wall horn from the front of her foot, she's still got plenty of depth in the wall horn on the side, so that she still can have good weight bearing properties in that foot. Um, she won't be walking uncomfortably anymore because that big toe is out of the way, and hopefully this should set her up for good, solid, and... Um, sound horn growth in the coming months just now she's actually slightly tender because she's had her foot up for so long because obviously this trimmed it quite a lot longer so if you think she's slightly lame you're right she probably is slightly lame right now but within the next hour or so she'll feel much more comfortable as i said at the beginning of the video it's super super important to realize and appreciate that this cow's toe is probably much longer than it normally would be because she's lame and it, she's not lame because it's longer why is that important? Well, if you're getting an abnormal amount of growth on one of your cow's feet, then the likelihood is that she's got some sort of lameness issue in there. And the sooner you pick that foot up, the much, much more likelihood is that she is going to recover properly, recover much more quickly, and be far, far more beneficial to your herd and productive for your needs. So guys, if you've got long toes like this, pick them up the second you can. Look at the difference in this cow just in a five minute trip.